Welcome dear students. In this video, I am going to teach you endothermic reactions and exothermic reactions. In general, chemical reactions are classified based on the energy changes involved during the reaction. So the two main classification of chemical reactions based on the energy changes are endothermic and exothermic reactions. Endo is internal or within and thermic is heat. So heat is intaken during an endothermic reaction. On the other hand, exo is giving out and thermic is heat. So during an exothermic reaction, heat is given out. First, I'm going to explain you about exothermic reactions because in our day-to-day -day life, we are seeing so many exothermic reactions which are taking place around us. An exothermic reaction is a chemical reaction that releases energy in the form of light or heat. It gives net energy to its surroundings. So, in an exothermic reaction, the reactants undergo reaction to give products with the release of energy. Let's discuss few examples for an exothermic reaction. So, here is a chemical reaction between calcium oxide and water to form calcium hydroxide with the release of energy in the form of heat. Calcium oxide, which is known as quicklime, reacts vigorously with water to produce calcium hydroxide, which is known as slaked lime. And it is usually used in whitewashing with the release of large amount of heat. As this reaction involves evolution of heat, it is an example of an exothermic reaction. One of the most important process in our body, respiration, is also an exothermic process. So during the process of respiration, glucose combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water with the release of energy. Another example for an exothermic reaction is burning of natural gas. So here, methane combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water with the release of energy. Bursting of crackers also gives out energy, so it is an exothermic reaction. Here are a few more examples for an exothermic reaction. Digestion of food in our body, rusting of iron, burning of a candle, decomposition reactions, explosions which involve evolution of large amount of heat energy and addition of acid to water. Endothermic reaction an endothermic reaction is any chemical reaction that absorbs heat from its environment. So during an endothermic reaction, reactants will absorb heat from the surroundings to give the products. When ammonium nitrate is mixed with water, it absorbs heat from the surrounding to dissociate into ammonium and nitrate ions. And also, Ammonium chloride, when dissolved in water, absorbs heat from the surrounding to dissociate into ammonium and chloride ions. Let us discuss few more examples for an endothermic reaction. Photosynthesis We all know that plants prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis. So here, carbon dioxide reacts with water in the presence of sunlight to form glucose and oxygen. Melting of ice is an endothermic process because during the process of melting, ice takes heat from the surroundings and turns into liquid water. As the heat is intaken, the process is endothermic in nature. Here are a few more examples for an endothermic reaction. Evaporation of water, cooking of egg, Reaction of ethanoic acid with sodium carbonate, splitting a gas molecule. Reactions in which the energy is released from the system to its environment in form of heat, electricity, light or sound are known as exothermic reactions. Reactions in which the energy is absorbed from the surrounding into the reaction in form of heat are known as endothermic reactions. 
in the next video i'll be teaching you corrosion its causes and methods of prevention if you like this video then kindly to subscribe and thank you for watching my video